Hello everyone, I'm Andrew, and welcome to part 4 of my Star Tropics playthrough. Today should be pretty interesting, so let's see what we're up against. Chapter 4, Confession. Subsea is cruising on the ocean. A small island appears on the horizon. So yeah, today's going to be a lot different than yesterday. I know yesterday turned out to be really long, 47 minutes. That was pretty awesome. So yeah, let's go in here. Another hut. Don't worry, it's a small village this time, so there's not going to be too much talking. Hi, my name is Bait. Today I met a guy sailing all the way from Sea Island to find a boy like you. But he's still rowing his raft on the East Ocean, so we should probably check that out. But first let's talk to everyone else. I'm a fisherman. I missed a big one. As big as a whale. That's interesting. Talk to you. My daddy is a fisherman. Cool. Let's see you. I'll become a good fisherman like my daddy. Everyone wants to be just like their dad apparently. So he said, I'm a fisherman, welcome to Tunicola. So we're at Tunicola, very small village. Have you ever heard of the raw fish eaters island, Sushi Cola? <laughs> That's pretty interesting. So yeah, you basically you can leave villages at any time by just sort of going out of bounds like that. So yeah, not, not really much to do there, although maybe we should go look for the, that guy who was apparently looking for us on the East Ocean. So it's going to be a pretty interesting uh, chapter, because unlike yesterday where there was five dungeons, today there's actually none. And you'll see why, but I promise we'll make, uh, it'll make up for it. And then, whoa! We just got eaten by a whale. That was not expected at all. So let's keep going this way. Let's see what's up. Hey, look who it is! Everyone should remember him. Wow, Mike, it's me, Babu! Dr. J's assistant, do you remember me? At last I've found you, but did we have to meet in the belly of this whale? Mike, I must tell you, I witnessed the kidnap of your uncle. A huge flying ship appeared in the sky. I did not tell you because I was afraid it would return for me. But the Southern Cross gave me courage and strength to find you. I'm sorry I was scared, but now I must help. Let's find a way out of this fish with bad taste. Well, let me see. That's it, Mike. We'll make him sneeze. Let's build a fire. Dr. J gave me a lighter. It was in my pocket. Pocket? Huh? Shoot, I lost it when I was swallowed. It must be around here. Let's find it. So yeah. So it looks like we're going to be building a fire to help us get out of here. And it's definitely a Pinocchio reference there for anyone who's seen that movie. So what we want to do... We want to stay in subsea as long as possible to, to try and find it. So let's see. So you're going to be navigating through these paths. It's going to be kind of tricky since you can't really see where you're going. But as you can see, we can get off, start walking, but it will usually just lead to uh, places like dead ends and things like that. There's no secrets to be found here, so yeah, they're all just dead ends. I always thought when I was a kid that maybe there was a big heart or something I was missing down here, but nope. It's all just dead ends, nothing really to find. So that was just sort of an example there, but as you can see, we even have the uh, ripples down here, which we can use for diving. So we're going to be using those a few times. Up here. So yeah, no levels in this chapter. It's pretty much all just exploration. So we're going to be here trying to find that lighter. And then we're going to be doing something really interesting at the end. So yeah, let's use this one here. Actually, that might not have been right. Actually, no, never mind. Yeah, we're going the right way. Keep going this way. And it led us back to the exact same spot. That was my bad. Anyway, yeah, so go down and to the left. Yeah, this is the one we're supposed to use. My bad. So yeah, that's got confusing. No matter how many times you do it, it's still easy to forget sometimes since there's so many different paths to take. Just keep going left. So yeah, this is definitely the shortest chapter and probably one of the uh, least interesting too. Although there's one main thing that's going to make it very interesting, as you'll see at the end. Something that people don't usually show during their playthroughs. Can I just do a loop again? Wow, I really, I'm really bad. But um, yeah, anyway, let's keep going. Just pretty much showing what not to do, because you know, it's pretty smart. Here we go. As you can see, sort of have this bridge type thing here. What we want to do is we want to go under it. Yeah, that can be kind of tricky to figure out. You might see these waves here, but you don't want to use them yet. We will be using that later, but not quite yet, and you'll see why. So now, We've uh, been in the subsea long enough. We want to get out and actually explore. So what we want to do is go over here. And there we go. We found the lighter. Now what we want to do, and yeah, you can see we, we set the three hearts down there. But what we want to do is we want to go all the way back to subsea. There's no run button, so we sort of just have to walk our way there. And get in here. But yeah, I don't know if people have been noticing. So yeah, um, we're going to be using this, but I don't know if people have noticing, in the description of all of these uh, videos, I've been posting a link to the Sea Island forum, 
and uh, StarTropics.com. You should definitely check those two places out. They're great. They have a whole ton of Star Tropics information, and they're a really great community at the Sea Island Forum. So yeah, those were, uh, waves took us back to here, and we couldn't have gone the other way, so we, that's only a way to return, not a way to go. So now we can talk to Babu again. Mike, let's build a fire! So we're sort of setting his raft on fire. You've built a fire! It's getting smokier. It's getting smokier. Mike, help! I got smoke in my eyes! It's getting smokier. Ah! And then, getting way too smoky. And then the whale is really going to regret this now, as it barfs everyone back up. And Mike's going to drown as he lands in the water! No, luckily there's a conveniently placed island right off to the side. And everything lands perfectly. Whew! We made it! I promise never to smoke again. Okay, Mike, I have to tell you Dr. J's last words. Evil aliens from a distant planet. Tell Mike to dip my letter in water. Do you understand? Let's go to no. Dr. J sent you a letter with a map of Sea Island a few weeks ago. Okay, Mike, I have to tell you Dr. J's last words. Evil, evil aliens from a distant planet and this again. Dr. J has been abducted by aliens. Uh, yeah, has been abducted by aliens in the flying ship. Mike, leave me here. I'll be okay. Please help Dr. J. So, now what we want to do is we want to go inside sub C. Now I've come here, Captain. Input frequency. So, now we're sort of just thrown into something here. We have no idea what we're doing. Unless we uh, un understood uh, Babu's words at first. So, let's just enter anything. Important info from Navcom. Put water on Dr. J's letter in the instruction booklet. So now, it's going, to act, it's, going, it's going to keep asking us to enter this frequency until we eventually are uh, able to put it in. So, what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you something really neat. So what we want to do now is we want to go and get our instruction book. And if we look on the back, we'll see there's that, that there's actually a letter attached to it. So if we open that up, we will see that it is a letter addressed to Mike from uh, Dr. Steve Jones, his uncle. And then what you'll notice is that at the bottom here is a big blank space, and that's the part that the game wants you to uh, dip into the water. His uh, secret message will be appear there, will appear there when we do so. So we're not going to use this book or uh, and this letter, but it's still attached and it's really nice and everything like that. And this isn't actually the original one that I got with my game anyway. This is the one that we got, and unfortunately, as you can see, my dog sort of got a hold of it. Although this was like six years ago, she's really good and trained now, but I don't know what it was back then. I guess she just got hungry and felt like eating it, although she clearly didn't notice the part where it says, do not taste, uh, eat, or otherwise consume this paper. I love how it has to uh, specifically uh, point that out. But yeah, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go put some water on this. So let's go check it out. Alright, so here we have our letter. We're not actually going to dip it right into the water. We're actually just going to sort of apply it. So I'm just going to use my fingers and just put some water on it. It doesn't need to be too wet to make the message appear. I hope this turns out alright, because I know it's kind of far away, and it's not too easy to see the letters, especially since the letters that appear at the, uh, with the secret message that you can see is appearing right now, they're not too dark, so it's not going to be very easy to read them from the screen. But yeah, so just apply some water here, and you can see it's slowly appearing. If you apply too much water, as you can see, kind of right there, it's, it's kind, of a, kind of smudging right there where too much water is being applied. So that's not always a good thing. And it's also old and stuff, too. And this ledger's not in the best shape, so it does have a bit of damage. But luckily, the code that we need will still show up, as you will see in a minute. So yeah, just keep putting a bit more water on until the whole message appears. Just a bit more. And yeah, so there we go. Our message has appeared, pretty much. It's really neat, as you can see. And I hope, it, hope it's good enough that you can see it. You probably won't be able to read it. But just in case, I'll zoom in, just so you can see what we're looking for. And right there. There's the code that we're looking for. Hopefully you could make that out. <laughs> Alright, so now that we've taken care of that, we should know that the frequency is 7, 4, 7. Aye aye, Captain, frequency taking, uh, tracking system set for Dr. J's location. If I pick up a signal, I'll alert you. Those say, uh, sub C is ready to launch, all ahead full. So yeah, very short chapter today, as you can see. Probably going to end up being one of the short, probably the shortest video of the whole thing. It doesn't get any shorter than this. 
No dungeons this time, although I guess they figured they'd uh, give us a break after a whole five last time. But yeah, that's it for today. I figured that was uh, something really neat, because you don't usually get to see how the letter worked, and I guess back then it, it would really suck. Like, if you rented it or you bought it used, you wouldn't have that letter. Without things like the internet back then, it was really hard to find this code, so it was unfortunate you'd be stuck. Of course, Nintendo Power and things like that covered it, but there's not always a guarantee you'd have access to those things either. But yeah, that letter's really neat. And it's definitely uh, something that a lot of games at that time didn't do. I can under like it, it, I guess it does make you buy it new, so Nintendo made sure they got your money, <laughs> since uh, you wouldn't be able to beat the game if you didn't buy it used. Although I guess unfortunately people wouldn't really know that before they bought it. But yeah, I suppose that's it for today. So uh, thanks for watching. I promise tomorrow's video will be quite a bit longer. There's one level tomorrow and a whole bunch of other things that you should see too. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. So yeah. Thanks for watching, and here we go, stealing away, he's kind of leaving Babu there. And thanks for watching, and see you next time!